already worn it and by the end of the day my my face just looked really really oily when I was just out doing my shopping and stuff I was like oh my gosh my skin actually looks oilier than it normally does. So in today's video I'm going to be testing out some products from one size. These were products that were gifted to me. If you've been following me then you know just because a company sends me something doesn't mean I'm automatically going to just love everything. That's not how it works here. I keep it 100%. So I'm going to put on these products. You're going to see me apply them. We're going to talk about it. We're going to do a little bit of a wear test. Do any of these products work for me? <laughs> Let's get into the video. What I think I want to do today, because I have to test two, a couple different things. I think on one side of my face, I'm going to use the primer. The other side, I'm not going to do the primer, but I'm going to do the setting spray. I hope that's okay. And I hope I don't end up looking crazy. And I really appreciate One Size for gifting me these products to test out. I have not liked everything from this brand, um, so I appreciate them gifting me the products to try out. Anyways, so I do have oily skin. I feel like this brand is definitely geared more towards oily skin, in my opinion, unless you're getting one of their other products. You know, as far as face products, I feel like it's more geared toward oily skin. Okay, this is what I'm going to do because I have several things here. So I have a, a blurring um, primer. So I think, ugh, I'm trying to think of how to do this because I don't want to film five different videos. So I wonder if I should put this on one side of my face and then this one is called the oil sucker. So maybe I'll put that on the other side of the face. And then whatever side that I put this on, I'll do the opposite because I'm going to also use their setting spray, which I've already tested, but I'm going to test it again. Um, I also have a blush palette that they gifted me. And these are the colors here. I almost want to do an eye look with that, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll do something with that. I did bring another palette in here, but maybe I'll do something so it kind of ties together. And then they also gifted me, they gifted me this lipstick, but this is just, I don't think it's going to go with this. And I don't really care for it. I've already, I bought one of these myself. So they gifted me one. I purchased one. I did a review on it. It's, it's a night, you know, it's a matte and then you have the gloss. Whenever I wear it, I have like a lot of bleeding. So it's like, you really can't use a lot of this gloss because it just bleeds on, on me and I have oily skin. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's do this first. So this is the Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. I almost want to put this on both sides, but I don't know. let's try this. We'll do it on this side and I better remember. I think I'll put this here and put that on the other side to kind of remind me. I'm not using much, by the way. I don't want to use too much. Okay, so look already. Does it look like I'm blurred? Maybe slightly. Slightly blurred, maybe? We'll see when I get my foundation on. I am going to use a matte foundation because I feel like, you know, if you want to look matte, if you use something that's a serum, it's probably not going to work. So the other primer is the Oil Sucker Extreme Mattifying Primer. And we're going to put that on this side. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's really runny. Oh, my God. I, like, barely squeezed it. And I'll do a check-in video with this, too. We'll see what it looks like later. I have a lot of product left. I don't think I need to put all that on to be careful. Wow. That side, when you put it on, that definitely looks matte compared to the other side. The other side to me does not look matte. That definitely looks matte to me. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put that on this side so I remember. <laughs> okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, there's nothing else I'm missing right now. I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation today. I'm going to use the Airbrush Flawless Filter because it is full coverage and it's a good one to test out, I feel like, with this. And I've told you that, guys this before, when you use this foundation, don't use too much because it is full coverage. And you will look like you're wearing a mask if you do. 
da da. Put a little bit on, and now one thing is, uh, this little bitch up here is hard to cover. I'm gonna let that sit there for a little bit. I usually don't do my brows first, but I was doing a brow video, so you will hate that I hated this foundation. I wouldn't say it's my favorite foundation. I have other foundations I like better, but it's a it's a lot better than I you know I like it more now um, than I did before. This side looks a little dry on me for some reason. And the other side doesn't. So that's kind of, you put a little bit, I feel like the coverage isn't as good. It looks really dry, but remember I put that mattifying primer on. It's a little bit better. It doesn't look like drier there compared to that side. It almost looks like my skin like is just, I don't know. It's not a pretty look. I'm going to go ahead and use the one size um, powder. I'm not a big fan of it, but I want to wear this with their other products today because we're testing some primers out. Maybe it'll make a difference. And this is just their translucent powder, by the way. So before I set it, before I do my eyeshadow, I want to go in and use their blush. So it looks like they have that cream, a cream blush, and then they have those other two blushes. I hope this can work with my skin tone. But we're doing it because this is what I got. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with my Nikki La Rosa brush. I don't know what to do. Well, since I powdered, I think I'm just going to stick with the creams. I mean, the, the powders. So I'm going to mix those two. Oh, boy. I'm going to tap it off on my thing a little bit because I'm scared. I have a lot of videos to do and I don't want to look goofy. Actually, that's not bad. So again, just kind of doing those together. This might look better on somebody who has deeper skin tone than me, but it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's the most beautiful blush I've ever used because you know I have my favorites. I love RMS. I just love RMS. I'm going to see my, where's my mirror at? Here it is. I want to see if this has like sparkles in it. Oh, it does. It has a lot of sparkles in it. I mean, it's... It's very sparkly. I feel like I'm... Um, it's, I, yeah, I, it's probably the highlighter. It's a little too many sparkles for me. I don't mind, like, RMS is not sparkly. RMS is just a shimmer. This is definitely like, like glitter. Very sparkly. Which is not something I would wear. Just trying to blend this out. I'm not loving it. I'm not loving this color on me. Um... I feel bad because I feel like everything they've sent me, I just haven't been like really impressed with, but I have to be honest with you guys, you know, I mean, this isn't like the best color for me. You know what I mean? I'm going to show you close up in a minute because it's really, it's very glittery for, I don't know. Why would we do glitter? Why are we doing glitter? Okay. Let me show you. Can you see the glitter? Hopefully you can. I mean, it is glitter. Yeah, this on this side because it's supposed to be matte. So I want to see does it stay matte without using this. And this is their uh, the one size. It's called the one size until dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. I'm just gonna tell you right now. I use this one time already and I looked oilier than I normally do. Okay, oilier. But we're gonna try it again today. I'm going to do it like that. So I just get the side. Okay. We will see.
see. <laughs> we will see. This side was the mattified. It's weird because this side looks more blurring to me than that side, but it looks... That's weird. The side that looks more blurring to me is the opposite of the product that I <laughs> used. My cheeks are very glittery. Let's take a look. <laughs> and by the way, I was going to do this. Um, I was going to use it on my eyes. I, I decided not to because I just felt like it's just, it's just too much for me. It's too much for me. I did what I did. I think it looks okay. Um, it, it looks not as intense as it does in person because I have lights on me, just so you know. I guess I should have used the cream. Does it matter? I don't know at this point. It's just, I don't know that that color is. I, okay. I'll have to update you on that. How about that? All right. So, can you see how glittery it looks? Now look at this side to the side. Now this side to me looks more matte. And that side, my cheek looks more textured. Do you see that? So, it was it the setting spray that did that? I don't know. Um, right now I look matte, but I am going to go outside for a little bit. Sit outside. It's hot today. I'm not going to be walking around or anything like that, so I won't be out for an extensive, but hopefully we'll get an idea of how this wears. So, as I always say, it's going to be the same day, but I may not be wearing the same shirt. My hair may be pulled back, but I guarantee you it's going to be the same day. We'll see... If any of this works on me and by the way I've already filmed my ending because I don't know what I'm gonna look like <laughs> after I sit outside so I've already filmed that just so you know so I will see you guys in a little while and remember this side has the one size setting spray and then we also put on the hold on a second <laughs> this one make sure I'm also have the secure the blur on this side and then this side has the extreme mattifying primer so I did go outside for a little bit I didn't get to go out long enough because it's just a stormy day here today so before this video goes live I'm going to experiment more and test this out so my final will be either in the comments below or the description and is how this wore. So let me show you what it looks like. And then I'm gonna look at the mirror and we're gonna take a peek. At, but I think I have my big ass mirror right here. Um, it's weird. This side looks more blurred to me. This side looks more blurred to me than this side, but this is the side that's supposed to be, you know, it has the blurring primer. And I feel like the other side looks more blurred to me. This looks a lot shinier to me too. This side looks a lot more shinier. Let me show you. Hopefully you can see that. I feel like this side looks shinier than this side. I feel like this side looks a little bit more matter, more of a matte look than this side. And it looks more blurred than this side. So I'm gonna I'm gonna test this out again. I'm gonna wear this all over my face and wear it and let you know. This is the second time trying this. It just doesn't work good on me. It it I feel like my skin gets shinier. So that's where I'm gonna leave it. I am going to just test this out some more and I will let you know in the comments. First impression, not really impressed with this, but I will test it again. And I will try to test this one more time. But I've already worn it, and by the end of the day, my my face just looked really, really oily. When I was just out doing my shopping and stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, my skin actually looks oilier than it normally does. So I know it's supposed to help with that, but it didn't for me. <laughs> it didn't for me, but I will try it again. I really appreciate them gifting me product, but you guys know that I'm always going to keep it 100%. Something works for me, it works for me. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's where I'm going to leave it. If you've tried any of these products and they've worked for you, please share it in the comments below because it's helpful to anybody else that wants to test it out. I like to give you guys a voice here. I'm not like, my opinion's the only opinion. That's not how we do it here. So 
please let me know if you've tried any of these you like it don't like it would really appreciate it and if you're new here i would love to have you join i share new videos every single week please consider smashing that subscribe button below it is free and i would really appreciate it before you leave please make sure that you like share and comment to my video because it helps to push it out to the algorithm and i would really appreciate it and i will see you all in my next video bye